don't think that my academic work uh, uh, contributes in any way uh, uh, towards the path to world peace. Along the, and I don't think that essentially historians uh, really contribute uh, to peace. Uh, I don't think that uh, you can learn a lesson from history. I don't think that you can use history as, as, as a way to deal uh, with current problems. Uh, because now I would say that potentially historians can do that, can kind of prepare the ground for peaceful solution of problems because they, in many cases, for example, they take, they break up for a national story, a national narrative, a national ethos. They break that up and that may allow, now it is a kind of a process of deconstruction which allow a new construction which now will take or will integrate, will allow to integrate the other side's narrative. And that will kind of, will be a very important step toward the, a new buildup of relationship. But that doesn't happen. What happens in most cases is that politicians, for example, they use history to prove their own point. They are not looking into history to say, well, okay, we can, we see from this study that essentially we were doing some bad things and now we need to rectify what they did bad and we did we will make the change and that will allow us to come or, or to make peace with our enemies no what they would do is they will take the history to justify their own present position if a change will take place it will take place because they will have to make changes and these changes will have nothing to do with history it will have to do with the present situation so no, I don't think that the historians really contribute to peace.